Welcome back to the Poison Touch Advice Hour, the podcast where Deadpool and Wolverine give you all the best advice, to, <laughs> the best and worst advice to deal with all of life's predicaments. Amario, would you consider yourself the Deadpool in this relationship or would you be the Wolverine? I think I consider myself the Deadpool because I'm a little crazy. Um, I got a big ass and I love me some two swords. Like, it's just. Ooh, that's crazy because I would think you're the Wolverine because you're short. <laughs> <laughs> Read me. OK, listeners, let us know who do you think is more Deadpool and who do you think is more Wolverine? That's the question. And for the record, we are both virtually hairless, so you can't base this on Wolverine being hairy because we're both dolphins. I was going to say maybe you're right because Wolverine is a musical theater girl. So, I mean, that <sighs> well, that he is. Yeah, Hugh Jackman. He'll sing you a song mm-hmm. and, diddle, and diddle you down. <laughs> it, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, it's time for another episode. Ew, my voice cracked. This is this is like we're off to a crazy start. This is another episode of Am I the Asshole where we go through a couple of Reddit questions and we got some crazy stuff for you today. But before we get into it, I do want to talk about some movie stuff because I have been into the movies mm-hmm. once a week for maybe the past month or so. Um, I've been taking advantage of six dollar Tuesday. It's my favorite day to go see the movies. Um, lately I have seen Long Legs, I've seen Deadpool and Wolverine, and I saw The Quiet Place, and there was something else I went to go see. What did you go see? I don't Wait, know. was it Maxine? Was that the Maxine? No. Yeah, Maxine. The yeah, Maxine, because we wanted to go see Maxine. I was like, I know I saw another one. So yeah, I've literally been to the this was like a pretty good month for movies, I feel. Really quickly, rattling it off, I thought Maxine was camp. Very fun. I think anyone who is not enjoying it is just not down for a campy good time because at the end of the day, um, it leans very heavily into the 80s tropes. And mm-hmm. I just thought it was it was fun. I think there were a lot of montages, actually. I think maybe we could have done without, like, we could have taken out one montage. And I think it would have been fine. I think sometimes it's okay to do a regular transition. <laughs> It's okay to do a dissolve. <laughs> it, it's or not even a dissolve. Like just give us some like, uh, just give us a jump cut. Even I'll take it. But like <laughs> they were really going into giving us that like pretty woman montage eight times over. Mm-hmm. Um, long legs I thought was fantastic for the first two acts of the film. I think once it veered away from the Silence of the Lambs FBI agent situation and became like codified supernatural, that's when I lost interest for me. Um, because I thought it was cooler when it was you know how some things toe the edge where you're like is it supernatural is it not supernatural you know i mm-hmm. like when movies play in that kind of space where they don't actually really ever say if it is or not uh and for me when they went all the way supernatural and just explained everything like just dumped dumped the lore on you that's when i lost it i think it's much better to show rather than tell and this movie i think thought its audiences were a little dumb and decided to tell us rather than just let us piece things together and then have that aha moment at the end. That for me is Mm -hmm. what is most enjoyable about a thriller because this is less horror and more thriller. So for me, it's like mystery thriller. You're trying to figure it out and piece together how this is all happening. And when I piece together it organically, I was like, Oh, this is great. And then they just ruin it by telling you straight out. Um, Deadpool Wolverine. Fun action, some fun jokes. Some of the jokes were a little stupid and I think uh, relied a little too hard on the fact that they could say fuck in a Marvel movie. And I think they were like just trying to get as many F-bombs out as they could to the point where some of the the dialogue, I was like, do people really talk like this? Which maybe they do. I don't know. Um, I feel like I I curse a decent amount, but they were like really just trying to throw them all in. Uh, Lots of cameos. The guy next to me was really fucking annoying, though. Because every time a cameo <laughs> happened on screen, he would say the name to the person next to him. Oh, man, that's Wolverine. Oh, man, that's Deadpool. Oh, man, that's that's Dopinder. That's Deadpool. Like, yes, we know who the characters are. You don't need to see every character's name when they're on screen. I get it. We get that you're a fan. Love that. And maybe this is me. This is this is a fault for me because I went to go see it day one because I wanted to avoid spoilers. When you go to a movie on opening day, you open yourself up to being in a theater with the worst people imaginable. That's part of why I only go to the movie on Tuesdays. I only go to the movies on Tuesdays. And I go before people get out of work. I go when the normal crowds are there. You know, I go when it's like 
the people that I don't know. I don't know. Tuesdays is rarely people in the theater. So I really love it. But yeah, um, I, I liked it overall. It, it kind of suffered from like that Marvel lack of cinematography thing where it was like just big open sound stages uh, or big open spaces and allowing them for, you know, big CGI fights. But it was fun. Very, it was very bloody. It was as bloody as I expected a Deadpool and Wolverine movie to be, which I enjoyed. Um, and what was the last one I talked about? Long wait, I talked about long Wolverine. legs. Wolverine, Maxine, long legs, Maxine. Wolverine, long legs. Quiet place. Quiet place. Day one. I also like Quiet Place. I thought Lupita was the standout. She carried the whole film. Because if there's one thing that woman is going to do, it is act her fucking ass off. Oh my God, that woman can act. My God. She do my be God. acting. Yeah. Like acting down. Us, us was for us, the girls. Oh uh, yeah, us was fantastic. I, I really liked us. Um, also, you guys won't be hearing this until August. We're recording this in July. So this might be like old news, but by then, by the time August rolls around, I may have already seen some more films and maybe I'll talk about those as well. But we're not here for films. We're here to talk about Reddit stories. Let's get into these stories. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this first one is, am I the asshole for punching my boyfriend in the face from reflexes after he snuck into the house while I was in the shower? So I'm in the shower, my, in my own world. My boyfriend went to the store and ran a few errands. He comes back in the house, sneaks up the, sca- the, sneaks up the stairs, comes in the bathroom, and screams while he whips the curtain open. I was scared shitless and threw a punch at him and made his nose bleed. He's now pissed off at me. I was scared and vulnerable, naked in the shower, and I thought he was an intruder and acted on instinct. I didn't mean to actually hit him. Am I the asshole? What do you think? I was acting. I saw um. that. <laughs> Serving. And if you want to see the video version, over, hop over to the Patreon. That's <laughs> patreon.com slash touch pod, where you can see Mario's stellar acting. Um, is she the asshole? I say no, because I have also punched my boyfriend when he snuck up on me so this story definitely hit home for me well, tell us um, the story. How, was, how did he sneak up on you i was laying in the bed um ass covered like on my phone like he was laying on my stomach you know looking at memes and stuff and he snuck into the room and he just like smacked my ass and me instinctively i like whipped my hand around and i like hit him in the nuts because like why Ooh. are you sneaking up on me in the yeah, nuts was, he was very upset at me Okay, here's the thing. John doesn't get scared. So when I try to sneak up on him, uh, I just know it's not going to work. And then I always break out mm-hmm. laughing before it happens. I'm really bad at sneaking up on people. <laughs> I'm, I just, because I'm always like, hee, hee, hee. I just, I, I always give away the bit before it happens. I'm like, it just doesn't work for me. I can't. Um, I don't think she's the asshole. You should know. Did you not watch, uh, did you not watch Psycho? When you're in the shower, and a man, an intruder comes in, you know, she didn't really mm-hmm. fight back. She just stood there and was like, ah, ah, ah. Uh, but that's a lesson oh, to everyone. Uh. That is a lesson to everyone watching. If someone comes into your shower and tries to get you, you got to get them first. I'm talking, you got to pull that shower curtain off and wrap it around mm-hmm. them. And pop, 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 pop. You know, you got you to gotta get them first. And also, you have to understand who you can scare and who you can't scare. The flight, the, it's called fight or flight for a reason. You have to recognize if your partner is a fight or a flight person. You, but you have to know if you scare them, they might hit you. And that's on you because you scared them. My that's boyfriend found out the hard day. I'm a fight person. And I told him, I'm from Texas. Don't be sneaking up on me. And I can tell you that was like, what? What was the case? Of you, ain't, you ain't even here yet. That was like, what, three years ago? Three, four years ago. He's never snuck up on me once since that day. See, he learned his lesson. And th- 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 I'm hoping this boyfriend <laughs> learned his lesson too because his nose is bleeding. I just don't think that's a valid reason for him to be mad at you. Nowhere no. Because what, what was he, what got into his head? Let's turn this on. What got into his head that he thought, oh, it, it, let me scare my partner in the shower? Because we don't actually know if it's a boyfriend or a girlfriend. We don't know who the partner is. Um, what? Yeah. They just decided, let me just scare them in the shower. Naked and vulnerable. Hell no. That's how my, I'm finding everything as a weapon. Cat. I'm constantly, every, mm. I am oftentimes in the shower thinking about if an intruder comes in, what can I use around me as a weapon? That's always, that's how I live my life here at home. I'm always sitting here on the couch playing games. Like if someone tried to break through this window, how fast can I get to the kitchen and give me a knife? 
Yeah. Or like, if not that, mm -hmm. maybe I, I always, I think a blunt object would work better for me because I just don't like the idea of stabbing something. Like the idea of breaking flesh like that is kind of scary to me. I don't like that idea. Blunt object, blunt force trauma. Thunk. Let me do that. Let me get a bat, you know? <laughs> yeah, to me, the idea of stabbing is like, oh, this is not for me. I can't. But yeah, I that's just, the one thing uh, I guess about stabbing. It's just so personal. Like if you stab someone, like you is in them, like you are like in almost there, like touching face them. to face. You're like you know, it's it is mm -hmm. very intimate and um, <laughs> intimate. I guess it, it, it I guess is. it is intimate, right? Intimate you're, is a you're, word. You're yeah. penetrating them, missionary <laughs> style, and often unless you're pulling a Julius Caesar, then you're giving them back shots. Oh god, at two brute. <laughs> It's intimate. I, I don't even got nothing to say. You, I yeah. Yeah, all the screen movies. The screen movies are just softcore porn. <laughs> hey, I want to see what your insides look like. I mean, it's it's written on the page. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I want to see what your insides look like. Like um, many many such cases on Grinder or Sniffies have people said the same thing. No. Otherwise, why would, they, would gaping pics are popular for a reason? They want to see your insides. Why do you think them FF girls are so popular right now? Mm -hmm. They want to feel your insides, sister, sisters. Mm -hmm. Fister, sister, sister. The cat is, is not the happy cat about is that. He was so upset that I said that. <laughs> <laughs> see my pussy here on. <laughs> not see my pussy. All in all, do you think she should break up? No, don't break up. I, I think this is something you can get over. You can get over this. I think he is stupid for being mad at you. I can understand being surprised. Like, oh my God, my nose is bleeding. Like, you fucked up my nose. But just mm -hmm. know, it could have gone worse. People have died from punches to the face. So you mm -hmm. gotta ca count your lucky stars that all you had is a, is a, a broken nose. Because there was now, that one thing. Now you look like Owen well, Wilson. God, of all the people, Owen Wilson. Because that, that was that one story. Okay, it was like a year or two ago about this man being racist in like a food shop and he called this guy the n-word and you punched him in the face and just killed him like and that killed was him. it i mean it was an old man but like you it. hit someone just the the right way or the wrong way right and you can kill them that brain will rattle back in their head just enough that they are just they're out and that's the plot to song of achilles because the whole reason that patroclus gets sent <laughs> off to join <laughs> <laughs> the whole reason Patroclus gets sent off is because when he was growing up, a boy was was uh, taunting him for some reason, and he punched him, and the boy fell and hit his head against a rock and died. So Patroclus had to be disowned by his family and sent off to ward or whatever the Greeks were doing back then, and that's why he ended up enlisted in met Achilles and all that, all that gay stuff. But yeah, that's. The that's the plot to Song of Achilles, is that if you punch someone the wrong way, they could die. <laughs> and that's today's fact. That is, I think that's one of the wildest references I've heard you say when we've done like a segment like this. You know, one thing and I will be always wild have, stuff. I will always have a reference. I, I pride myself on being able to, to make a reference for most things. Sometimes I feel like I am a Family Guy episode. Oh. I, dude, they, I, I'm built. There are cutaways built inside my head. I don't mm -hmm. even like Family Guy like that. Really, if we're if we're really getting into it, I'm an American Dad truther. For Roger and Roger alone. For Roger, I like both. Like I still to this day. Well, I think I'm on Francine's side because you know there's always like the who will win in a fight. And it's always Lois versus Francine. I think Francine would eat down. I'm sorry. I got to say, I love me some family guy, but Francine would whoop her ass. Yeah. She would tear it up. Yeah. I, and the thing about like hypotheticals like that is like, and this is the thing that I, I feel like people just never understand because they'll just argue about it forever. The truth is whoever wins is whoever the writers want to win. Right. It's the same thing when people argue about like who wins storm or, or G great, you know, like fights like that whoever the writers want to win is who's going to win that fight. So you could argue about it day and night, but the point is we're not going to know unless a writer says they're arguing for this reason, they're fighting for this reason. And this person wins for this reason. That's it. You can argue till the cows come home. I don't, power scaling is annoying. 
Now, how do we get so far from this from this person punching their boyfriend? <laughs> this always happens every time I'm on oh, here. We always, always happens. Last time it was the hot dogs into the Arizona iced tea into the the mm-hmm. military industrial complex into the deep on the. It was just a lot. Um, do you have anything else for this one? I I think you're not the asshole. I don't think you have to break mm-hmm. up with him. I just think this is a this is a conversation you have with him. Don't fucking sneak up on me ever because mm-hmm. you're gonna get popped you're gonna get popped yeah not the asshole um my boyfriend just walked in and yeah he would agree that she's not the asshole mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. listen mm-hmm. if you roll up you gotta you gotta know what you're playing with yeah exactly don't poke the bear if you know not to poke the bear don't poke the bear don't poke the bear uh-huh a mario famed famed bear famous for his famed- his Famous for his place in the bear community. Just I was about hairy, to shout out Nigel. The hairiest, <laughs> biggest person I know, Mario Nunez. Just the, <laughs> look at this. You don't see twinks with this. Yes, bear bear. Come on, husband. bear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move into the sex one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're getting off course here. This is... The second question we have, uh, the second story we have today, it says, I tore my esophagus open while eating boneless wings, and the Supreme Court said I was in the wrong. Am I the asshole? The title says it all. I ordered boneless garlic parmesan wings at a restaurant, and a small bone in one of the wings ended up lodged in my throat, causing an infection that ruined my eating and leading me from puking up every meal for three days. After seeing a doctor, I was informed that the small bone tore up my esophagus and caused that infection. I sued the restaurant, the farm that produced the chicken wings, and the supplier company, saying that they failed to adequately alert me that my boneless wings, in fact, had bones. That's when Ohio's Supreme Court came in and in a 4-3 to three ruling decided that I was, in fact, in the wrong. They determined that, quote-unquote, boneless is a style of cooking and that diners should be aware that chickens have bones, which can sometimes make their way into the meat. A quote from one of the justices reads, A diner reading boneless wings on a menu would no more believe that the restaurant was warranting the absence of bones in the items than believe that the items were made from chicken wings, just as a person eating chicken fingers would know that he had not, in fact, been served fingers, said Justice Joseph T. Detters. Another justice, Michael P. Donnelly, said, The question must be asked, does anyone really believe that the parents in this country who feed their young children boneless wings or chicken tenders or nuggets or fingers expect bones in the chicken? Of course they don't. When they read the word boneless, they think that it means without bones, as do all sensible people. So, as I said, am I the asshole for thinking it's crazy to assume that boneless means boneless? Before we get into this, this is in fact an actual story that came out uh, of Ohio recently that Amario dropped on my table. And um, mm-hmm. as, as proud chicken wing eaters, proud chicken tender eaters, proud on occasion I do like a boneless wing. If I don't feel like mm-hmm. doing all the work, I like a boneless wing from time to time. And I think the Supreme Court just said it. Young children like boneless wings because it's way less work for them. And, you know, parents want to feed their kids something without the bones because the kids might not like it. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's crazy to assume that boneless means boneless? Let's talk about it. Well, as someone who sent the story, I feel like I should go first. Yes, because you, um, feel, you feel very strongly about this. I felt very strongly about this. If I get a pack of damn boneless chicken, I ain't expecting no bones in it. Because that's literally what the package says is boneless. And I think it's kind of crazy that like the Supreme Court said, oh, it was very close four three ruling. No, boneless is a style of cooking. And you should be aware that chickens have bones. Well, we know chickens have bones, which is why I ordered the boneless. The boneless, which says things. boneless, which means I should, in fact, assume that there are no bones in this. I I think the court is absolutely wrong on this. And, and, and the court was split. The, like, if four to three is, is like, that's basically down the middle because, you know, seven of them, you can't have mm-hmm. a perfect middle. But they were split on this, as you can see between the two quotes between the justices. One of them saying, well, you know, if, if you eat chicken fingers, you should know that you don't have fingers. And if you have boneless, you should just realize you may not have boneless. That's idiotic. Because then why the fuck do we have boneless if I'm to assume that there are bones in my boneless? Pissing me off. 
it just makes me so upset that future food establishments are going to use this as a precedent because who knows what this could do to like prices and stuff like, oh, you know, we're going to raise the price of all the boneless wings because the Supreme Court said it may have bones in it. So technically, these are all just bone in wings now, even though it says boneless. Like it's just the future implications of this are widespread and will be extremely damaging to the community. Um, and I'm, of course, this is only like an Ohio ruling, right? Um, before you ask, yes, Joseph T. Detters, the one who is definitely thinking that chicken wings don't mean finger, I mean, chicken fingers don't mean fingers or boneless shouldn't mean boneless. He is, of course, in the Republican Party. I just don't think that that shouldn't be surprising to anybody because of course he is. Um, and yeah, they just, as per usual, they're making stupid, stupid decisions. Um, that being said, does this not open up and this might be going a little too crazy Going through his words, am I to assume mm-hmm. that if somebody were to start selling fingers in the chicken fingers, they could point to this ruling to say, mm-hmm. well, you should just assume that the chicken fingers might in fact have fingers. Because if we are to assume that the boneless has bones, what's stopping somebody from selling the chicken fingers with real fingers in them? The Supreme Court said it was okay. But I'm making, you know, when, when Mrs. Lovett's meat pies but i'm to assume that mrs lovett's chicken fingers in fact have real fingers in them don't be surprised when mrs (laughs) lovett goes and and decides supreme court justice joseph t debtors and says well you know love you you, you, his fingers in it but it's the best fingers in in ohio (laughs) so this just this you remember that one story where there was a KFC person, it was like KFC or a Popeye's thing, where there was like the rat shaped thing that could have been a rat, but Little maybe not. Rat, yeah. I feel like these two cases could be related, even though the rat thing was thinking, I think it was New York, no shade. Um, I think it was in New York. So I feel like, oh, well, it's something deep. I don't know. I'm trying to think of why. It's something deep fried. Like, you know, you shouldn't expect it to always be what it says it is, because that's, that's basically what the Supreme Court said. I think I should be able to go somewhere in order you know, a, a bloomin' onion and not expect a fucking deep fried boot to come out and then be told, <laughs> well, you ordered a bloomin' onion. You should just expect that your deep fried thing might not be what you really wanted. Excuse me? That's crazy. My first thought was the lady who got the third degree burns from the McDonald's coffee. I did see someone uh, retweeted that and used like that little. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking this should have gone in that direction where, yes, like it, like, this type of thing that like people don't think about happened and yes it was a mistake and you know i get it because sometimes if you order like fish and it doesn't have bones in it sometimes there is a small bone in the fish you know and i Mm -hmm. think on the one hand it's up to the person to also maybe and this to say he was like eating super fast but like when you eat things maybe like just slow down just a little bit like (laughs) let's just maybe instead of like popping the whole wing and the whole boneless wing inside let's eat a little bit (laughs) To eat a little bit and let's really chew our food to make sure we're masticating it and, and make sure that there's no bones in it. That being but said, also to yeah. be fair, when you go order a fish, it doesn't say boneless fish in it. So like well, you some, should so sometimes the, the fish does say boneless. Like I got these boneless salmon pieces from Jewel Oscar. Oh, okay. So it was like deboned. It doesn't say boneless because mm-hmm. it's just it's just as deboned, right? So it's like a deboned salmon fillet. And when I cooked it okay. and I was eating it and I, I was chewing and I felt a little bone, I, was, I had to pick the bone out. So there was, in fact, a small bone in the fish because, you know, fish bones are tiny and cartilaginous. So yes. there's, um, you know, of course, it might have been hard to miss. Um, but, yeah, this is one of those things like I feel like the Supreme Court should have been like, yeah, let's let's actually go to like the Food and Drug Administration and let's let's crack down on some of these boneless, you know, let's make sure the boneless is actually, in fact, boneless. It's very upsetting to me, my homegirls. And I, after yeah. I sent this article to Jake, I sent it to six other people. And it, all if those you, six If you can't go to Wingstop, where, where could you go? Are, is anything safe now? Is, is my anything chicken safe, safe for my is children? Is my chicken sacred? How am I supposed to go to the, the, uh, the BWW, the Buffalo Wild Wings, the big white women, and get me my boneless way? <laughs> No, the big white women, you give them the bone. They don't give you the bone. Well, no. mm-hmm. Yes. I can't say that because, you know, pegging exists. But anyway. It yeah, get, get you a BBW to give you the bone. <laughs> Let's try that. 
<laughs> it's a, I remember having this argument in high school. Does BBW stand for big bodied woman or big beautiful woman? I've always meant big beautiful women because I was I living with a straight big, man. Beautiful woman, right? I was living with a straight man in college and his girlfriend, who happens to be my best friend, she needed his internet browser on his PlayStation and BBW was in the search like history and it came out to big beautiful <laughs> good, good women. For good for like, him. And she asked about it. Well, she asked me about it first. She's like, what is BBW? And I was like, big beautiful women. And then she's like, okay. So then like she asked him and we were all in the same room. So it was awkward. But it was, but yeah, I've always some big beautiful women. See, I don't know. I, I look at game porn. I, so I like, Googled it. I just Googled it. And here it says dictionary.com big okay. beautiful women. So I don't remember who I had this argument with because it was in high school and that was, you know, almost 12 years ago. I just want them to know if if you're watching this random person from high school and you're like, that was me. I actually thought it was big bodied women. I just want you to know it's big, beautiful women. And you were wrong. Mm-hmm. And I was right because I'm a Virgo and I'm always right. Even if it's 12 years later down the line when I'm finally bringing it up, I just want you to know I was right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> from chicken to BBW. See, like it happened again. <laughs> we get... I was going to. I was going to say BBC, Big Beautiful Chicken. I was like, I'm not going to go down that road. That's oh, a whole other can of... The British mm. Broadcasting Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... I think this can I'm sorry, really, y'all. I'm very upset. It can be... I'm upset, too. This could be summed up by when they read the word boneless, they think it means without bones, as do all sensible people. And I, I, I appreciate that the other one was like, think about the children. You know, whenever you want to like make an appeal to someone in politics, I think you just have to be like, think about the children, because that's what they always do is think about the children. Think about the children that now have to be scared to eat their boneless wings. Mm-hmm. We could have had something good here. We could have had a, 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 a landmark ruling in the chicken industry. We need we harder, harder regulations for boneless wings. And instead, it's left up to the diner to what like parents are supposed to eat their fucking boneless wings and regurgitated to their children to make sure there's no bones in it like 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 birds like birds like yeah. birds we're supposed to be the chickens this is crazy this is wild is look who we are is this what we have become is this this is the this is the <laughs> this is the direction america's heading and that is so sad I, you hate to see it honestly if I had all the legal time and money in the world, I, if I was his man, I would appeal this case to a higher court. In this, actually, it would go above the state supreme court. It would go to like we're going the, to the supreme country. court. Yeah, we're going to the supreme court. Yeah, I would honestly go there because you know what? But with how many Republicans are on the supreme court, I truly don't think it would be different. Yeah, I was gonna say if we can put this and this like you know get whatever else like our rights that are being you know removed one day at a time we could put the chicken in there that'll give us time to you know get someone out of the court and fix all that but yeah we gotta start you putting might be real right. stupid shit up to the supreme court to like keep them from getting to the actual you know taking away our rights issues because if they're too busy arguing about the chicken they can't get into getting rid of gay marriage mm-hmm. so everyone coming up with the stupidest shit you can let's push it all into the <laughs> supreme court you know, the next time a cat is in a treat, Supreme Court. <laughs> Supreme motherfucking court. Supreme Court ruling against the cats and trees. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will not accept a Supreme Court I do not <laughs> deserve. Uh huh. Yeah. You I'm know what? Justice. I need. I need a Photoshop thing where Maxine is saying, looking at Miss Goose like, you know, you know what I did to the last chicken that tried to kill me. <laughs> You wanna you wanna know what I did to the last boneless wing that had a bone in it? <laughs> I took it to the Supreme Court. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I will not accept a boneless wing I do not deserve. I think that's that's what this the title of episode. You know I will not accept a boneless wing I do not deserve. <laughs> that's the tattoo that's going on this side, right here. Uh-huh. And with that. That brings us to the end of the episode. As <laughs> always, I've been Jake. You can follow me at Poison Touch Pod or submit your own questions at poisontouch.com or by calling in at 312-725-6483. Also, if you have a Reddit story that you want us to talk about, send it over onto my Instagram. That's Poison Touch Pod. 
for $5 a month over at the Patreon. That's patreon.com slash push and touch pod. You can get full video episodes, bonus episodes, and uh, lots of deliciousness to help support me and, you know, help me keep getting content out to y'all. Um, and yeah, also, you know, I've been playing Daily Persona on my YouTube if you're interested in video game stuff. Uh, they also act as little video diaries. Mario, close us out here. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Booty Origami. And if you want to see me take some bones, you can go over to OnlyFans and see me there at Booty Origami. Same tag. See? Beautiful Listen, I always off. got something. Beautiful sign off. Love it every time. And also keep your eyes out for uh, for more Baby Daddy stuff. We are in the process of trying to schedule us reviewing season one of For the Love of Dilfs. Uh, it's our favorite our favorite show. We're very excited to to get back to Baby Daddy's content. So yeah, we'll catch you on the flip.